let's assume that we have vector a with elements a1 and a2 and vector b with elements b1 and b2. Uh, if we want to visualize these two vectors in two-dimensional space, uh, let's say this is vector A and this is vector B and uh, basically this is the way that we can visualize these two vectors in two-dimensional space. Now we can define uh, many different forms of operators between these two vectors but one of the ways that we can define uh, an operation is called um, inner multiplication or dot product of the two vectors. And the way that we define dot product is that we multiply the transpose of A by B element by element, which uh, ends up to be A1 uh, multiplied by B1 plus A2 multiplied by B2, which is simply a a scalar a, a real number. Now let us think of the meaning of this uh, proposed operator. Um, there are two vectors. A1 in fact is the projection of A on x-axis and A2 is the projection of vector A on y-axis. B1 is the projection of vector B on x-axis and B2 is the projection of vector B on um, y-axis. So when, when we are multiplying A1 with B1, we are basically multiplying the projection of A on x-axis by the projection of B on x-axis. And when we are uh, finding A2 multiplied by B2, we are multiplying the projection of B on y-axis multiplied by projection of A on y-axis. So the idea is that uh, to find the um, scalar product or dot product of two vectors, we are just multiplying their x dimensions uh, and y dimensions and then we add these two results and that is the, the scalar real number that is the result of the multiplication. Now let, let us look at this uh, result from another point of view, from a geometric point of view and think of what is A1. Uh, A1 as we understood is the projection of vector A on um, x-axis. So its uh, size depends on the size of vector A and, uh, and the angle between vector A and x-axis. Um, let's call the angle between the two vectors alpha and the angle between vector A and x-axis beta. Now, the A1 is the size of vector A multiplied by cosine of beta. And then we have to multiply that with B1. And B1 is the size of vector B multiplied by the cosine of the angle between vector B and x-axis, which is the cosine of uh, alpha plus beta. Now we have to uh, add that with A2. What is A2? Is the projection of vector A on y-axis, which is uh, the size of vector A multiplied by sine of beta. Multiply that with, uh, with B2, which is the projection of B on y-axis, and that is the size of B multiplied by the sine of uh, alpha plus beta. Now, this way we can uh, summarize the results.
And then we can factor um, the size of A multiplied by size of B. And the result would be the size of A, uh, vector A, multiplied by size of vector B, uh, multiplied by um, cosine of beta, cosine of alpha plus beta, uh, plus sine of beta, multiplied by sine of alpha plus beta. And that, we know, will be the size of vector A multiplied by size of vector B. And then here we have uh, cosine of uh, B, cosine of alpha plus beta, plus sine of B, sine of alpha plus beta. So the angles that are involved here are beta and alpha plus beta. That would be cosine of beta uh, minus alpha plus beta, which will end up having uh, size of vector A multiplied by size of vector B multiplied by cosine of minus alpha. And because cosine of alpha and cosine of minus alpha is the same, we can write it as uh, vector uh, A, size of vector A multiplied by size of vector B uh, multiplied by cosine of alpha. Now, let us think what is the meaning of this uh, result. Uh, the size of vector B multiplied by cosine of alpha is in fact the projection of vector B on the direction of vector A. So what we have here is in fact the multiplication of size of vector A by the projection, uh, the projection of vector B on the direction of vector A, which is um, uh, size of B co cosine of alpha. And that tells us why this inner product or dot product is also called projection product. Another uh, reason that this uh, operator is interesting is that if we multiply uh, uh, vector A, dot product vector A, uh, the result will end up to be uh, size of A multiplied by size of A multiplied by cosine of the angle between A and A. Uh, because the cosine of 0 is 1, the inner product or dot product of a vector by itself is the size of A to the power of 2. But what is the size of a to the power of 2? It would be, by, the def by definition, it would be a1 multiplied by a1 plus a2 multiplied by a2, which is basically a1 to the power of 2 plus a2 to the power of 2, which is a very um, nice and easy result to, uh, and which we are very familiar with in uh, two-dimensional space. If this is vector a and the it's a composition of A1 and A2. Then um, here we have A1 and the, uh, on y-axis the, the rise of vector A is A2. And if we want to find the size of vector A, it would be A1 to the power of 2 plus A2 to the power of 2. Uh, that gives us, uh, then we know that the size of uh, vector a to the power of 2 is a 1 to the power of 2 plus a 2 to the power of 2. Uh, therefore, this, um, this operator that we define gives us a very um, familiar result uh, regarding the size of a vector. Uh, this definition of uh, dot product has another beauty. We define the dot product as the multiplication of the size of vector a multiplied by size of vector b multiplied by the cosine of the angle between the two. And this leads us the, to the capability to define the cosine of the alpha based on the inner multiplication. And inner multiplication uh, of the two is simply the multiplication of the, so a1, b1 plus a2, b2 gives us uh, the inner multiplication. And we can easily find the size of each vector uh, based on the inner multiplication as, uh, as well. Therefore, we can easily find the cosine of the angle between any two vectors, and that's very enabling. So if you have any two vectors, 
we can say, okay, the cosine of the angle between the two can easily be found by the multiplication of the, uh, the x dimension of each vector multiplied by each other plus the uh, y dimension of each vector multiplied by each other. And then we can also define the size of each vector based on the inner multiplication, which we just discussed. And that gives us a nice result uh, that is all based on the size of the vectors. Moreover, we can use this calculation of cosine and generalize to uh, many dimensions. So assume that we have vector A and vector B in a multi-dimensional space, in an n-dimensional space. So elements of A are A1 to An in n dimensions, and vector B uh, is uh, has uh, B1 to Bn in n dimensions. Now we can define, uh, we can generalize this idea to n dimensions and define that the cosine of alpha can be found by the inner multiplication of the two vectors, which is a1, b1, a2, b2, to an, uh, bn. And then we can find the same inner uh, multiplication to find the size of each vector in n dimension, which is basically vector a, inner multiplication by vector a, which gives us the square of the size and then get the square root of it. And this way we can define the cosine of alpha between a two n-dimensional vectors in, a, in, a, in an n-dimensional space. We can find that angle. Now, interestingly, if we apply this generalization to three-dimensional uh, space that we ha have, uh, we are familiar with, uh, and we can calculate the angle between the two vectors in this three-dimensional space. So just imagine that in a three-dimensional space, if we have vectors A and B, the cosine of uh, these two vectors uh, in three-dimensional space, um, projection product or uh, dot product, and then we can find the size of each vector in three-dimensional space using the um, inner product or projection product of vectors. And that uh, gives us a cosine of alpha, and it can be shown that this is correct. And actually, it is the cosine of the alpha of the angle of two uh, three-dimensional vectors. So this generalization that we did from two-dimensional space to n-dimensional space actually turns out to be verified and to be correct with our perception of the angle of two vectors in three-dimensional space. And that's why we are interested in uh, this uh, dot product or projection product of two vectors.